Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, another unusual vehicle. I'll explain this to you in just a minute. Now, if you've been to this website before, you've seen our tank car, also known as the Blastoline Special. Then we got an awful lot of hits and we did uh, Pistol Pete. Here's that one there. Well, the man behind all these uh, odd inspirations is uh, Randy Grubb from up in Oregon. He's just stopped by with his latest creation. Randy, come on in here. I gotta say, this is the best one yet. This is pretty cool. This is a, well, it's a motorhome, but probably the coolest motorhome I've ever seen. Tell me about the story, the inspiration, what, what happened here? Well, I guess it all started with a houseboating trip on Lake Shasta, uh -huh. when the houseboat had a functional flying bridge. Right, okay. And I thought that was a pretty cool idea. You could drive the boat from up top right. in the open air, or you could drive it downstairs within the cabin. And I thought, why couldn't you have that in a car? Yeah, well, now you can, no. obviously. Now you can. <laughs> and boy, and, and what did this start out as? Well, a couple of things. The key to the flying bridge was a 1973 GMC motorhome chassis. Okay. And the reason that was the key was it's a very low chassis. Most motorhomes, you walk up a flight of stairs right. to get above the drivetrain. Right. This is a front wheel drive, 455 right. Ols platform. Right in back of the wheels, the chassis drops down to 14 inches off the ground and is completely uninterrupted. Right. So that allowed me to stack the, the flying bridge on top of this thing. Right. And when you're driving from the roof, your head is at 11 foot 6 inches, which is plenty close to the 13 foot 6 legal max. Okay. that we got here. So just don't wear a hat is what you say. Not a big hat, no. Yeah, so Abe Lincoln would not be driving this. <laughs> and I love the portholes. Those are hand-blown glass. As you know, I used to be That's a glass right, blower. That's right, you were a glass blower. That's, That's right. So I had some friends at the glass floor to whip those up for me. Now, was this door from something else, or did you just draw this inspiration for the... It's all scratch built. Okay. Yep. So what do you do? Do you sit down with a pen and, and design what you want first, or how, do you, how does it work? Yeah, I got tired of cutting up old cars about 10 years ago, Jay, and I yeah. really wanted to start with a clean sheet of paper, and that's right. what we did here. We get to design anything we want and then build it from scratch. Well, that's great, because what you have here is proven mechanicals. You've got the 455 Olds motor, right? Yeah. And then so these are, there are a lot of these motorhomes around back in the early 70s, but the cars, none of them look like this. And this is all obviously aluminum, right? Yeah. Everything aluminum fenders as well? Yes, yes, sir. Wow. You know how I love to work aluminum. I know. So, now, so what does the whole thing weigh? Well, I think we're right around 7,000 pounds. The original GMC motorhomes often came in around 10,000. Okay. So actually, we're a sport job. We're a little bit lighter and a little really? more nimble. Yeah. So how do you get to the motor? Is it under the seat? It is. Let me show you. It's okay. pretty cool. Look how nicely done the whole dashboard is here. We'll show you how you steer it from the top in just a minute. Oh, look at that. So there's your 455 Olds, wow. 1973 so vintage. Yeah, sitting right on it, huh? Yeah, all freshened up and ready to go. Yeah, so when you want to work on it, you just take all this out and you're ready to go. Well, what's really important to me, I'm always thinking about the guy working on my piece. And I thought, the originally, the engine compartment was this little tiny little hole. Yeah. And I thought, gosh darn it, you know, how are you going to work on that thing from inside that little tiny hole? So I really opened it up to give you lots of room. Right. And hopefully the guy that works on it won't be uh, calling me too many names. Cool. And what are these little switches here? Uh, those are the air ride for the back. Oh, okay. In 73, they came out with the very first air suspensions on these on these coaches. Right. So those control the airbags, which was a, lot, a ride leveling system. I see. And the whole interior looks like Captain Nemo. If you ever saw that... Those Captain Nemo movies, that's what this is like. It's very, very cool. And the visibility is terrific because the stairs in the back, each step is, a, is its own rear window, so you can see behind you. And it looks like the inside, I'm a big fan of the early airships, the dirigibles. That's right. I always, if you ever see a movie called, uh, that's, that's Howard Hughes' first film, and they show the inside of a dirigible, and these guys are, you know, fighting off planes, and you see them running through the inside. It, it, it looks just like that, and the same round windows, too, which is very cool. And this up here is your drive shaft or your, your steering shaft. Go ahead, show them how you do it's it. It's a total crack up. So here you are, sitting in the downstairs, ready to drive. And then when you want to drive upstairs, you know, you got a nice sunny day or something. Well, you just pop the steering wheel off. Right. You reach up here, grab your steering shaft, swing it down, pop it on, hang the old steering up, and now we're ready to go upstairs and steer from the roof. We're going to do that in just a minute. I'm going to drive it from up there, but let's take a little, little more look around here. Uh, custom brake and handbrake. Yeah, we ran a big hydro boost, so we got plenty of braking power with this thing. I hand uh, carved dashboard, had it sand cast. Wow. I didn't want a CNC look. I want it to look like the old sand cast right, parts. Right. So we have dual matching uh, instrument clusters, top and bottom. It's just a lot of fun. Let's turn on the interior lights. We sure can. Let's enter through here. 
Well, this is very cool. Certainly got plenty of room. You can even stand up inside this thing. Yeah, that's the and name of the are, game. These are the stairs here. Okay, this one's open. Huh? That's our vent. Oh, that's Top stairs vent. a vent. Yeah. And then the rest of the risers have safety glass in it with the old wire like you had in the right, elementary right, schools. Right, right, nice. Kind of fun. And what are you doing, Ray? Do you seal this off? Yep, we'll have a little door that'll close oh, up. See. Yep, swing up. We're not quite done yet, as you see with the interior. Yeah. Got yeah. a few more things to do. So in the back, we have a little futon bed. This will fold down into a bed. Right. And then here, we've got a little ice box, mm -hmm. kind of vintage. So we'll be painting this up to match the oh, yeah. interior. Very cool. So it's just like a limousine, something six or eight people yeah, can sit in real this, comfy. And I love all this work here. This is really something. Isn't that great? Really nicely done. Nicely done. It's got an, uh, like an airplane interior, oh, doesn't yeah, it? Oh yeah, this is great. And you got obviously the door on each side. It and feels like my Tatra on my Chrysler Airflow. And of course, we're treating it like the old uh, motorhomes yeah. that had the uh, birch door skins. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be covering it with that beautiful blonde wood up oh, and around the nice, corner. Very nice. So it'll be very vintage. And it looks like you have what air conditioning yeah, under here? Yeah, we've got two air conditioners down there to keep the people back here comfortable and cool. And you got your separate seats back here as well. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. It's pretty neat, huh, Jay? Very nice. It's really terrific. It's nicely, nicely done. Let's show you how you get to the upstairs. Come on. Yeah. See, you got your handrails going up. Yeah, and see the staircase just flips over. Allow easy access. And After you, sir. Once we're right upstairs. I love the teak wood. <laughs> yeah, nicely done. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, it's really good. It's really very, very clever. Nicely done, and that wheel is permanent, obviously. Yep, yep. It's amazing how high up you are in this thing. It, I don't think it's, I've never driven a vehicle this is high off the road, but, uh, well, you'll see what it's like on the road in just a second. We'll take it out. But uh, as you can see, he's done the same treatment on that dashboard. Handmade the windshield, you know, in a Duval style. Yeah, yeah, very nice. So. Like the old cars in the 30s, you got dual dashboards, front and back, or up and down in this case. It's kind of fun, isn't it? No, it's really neat. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I used those 50s colors, the turquoises and the greens. Right. Let's see what she looks like head on. Yeah. Almost looks like one of those old Divco type trucks from the front. And this is all original for you too, right? I made all this part. Originally, yeah. the, the white, this is a white bottle 3000 cab. Very, very common trash truck from the 50s. They okay. were super plentiful. Yeah. And now you can hardly even find one. Yeah. The original truck had a giant cowl vent. It would catch a California condor. It was this wide by yeah. this tall. Okay. The original um, grill opening is way down here. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, this right here is half a satellite dish. Oh, is that right? Are you ready for that? I just thought it made such a cool grill. It does. It's but, like a great grill. But very that's clever. half a satellite dish. Yeah, so you're recycling, and you got a big uh, spotlight up in the top. Absolutely. That's a marine piece, and it's kind of fun because you can uh, control the tilt here and yeah, then spin oh, yeah. it there. So it's a, it's a fun piece. Very nice. And I love these dual mirrors that you made here. That's very clever. It was just a matter of scaling. One was yeah. too small. And, yeah. you know, as you know, I view myself as an automotive artist. These are just right. sculptures you get to drive. Oh, I know. So balancing the sculpture is what's important to me. Very, very clever. Let's, uh, let's take this thing for a ride. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, this has got to be the highest vehicle on the road, isn't it? Absolutely, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> is this even legal? I don't even know. Uh, is it illegal? That's the <laughs> Right, yeah. You can certainly see where everybody is. It's rather commanding, isn't it? You got a commanding <laughs> view of the road. I have never been able to see this far down this road in my life. It's hilarious. <laughs> How cool is this? Let's see what it's like driving from the lower deck. Okay, see when you want to drive down here, show them how you do it. You just disconnect the steering shaft, hang it up out of the way, pop your steering wheel on, and you're ready and to go. There you go, there you go. Presto changeo. And continue motoring. Yeah, it's nice, you got air and everything.
Well, how cool was this? We always enjoy when Randy shows up with these things. We haven't seen him in 15 months. He went home to build this thing, and then he showed up one day, and I said, hey, let's put it on the website. So, Randy, always a thrill, my friend. Thanks, Jay. And what's your website? Well, you can check me out at uh, Blastoline.com. Blastoline.com. Spell it out. B-L-A-S-T-O-L-E-N-E.com. Blastoline.com. Randy Grubb. Hey, I just got a Facebook page. You can check me out at Facebook, too. You don't want to look at his face. Look at his cars. <laughs> look at his artwork. The face, not so much. <laughs> hey, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week.